When it comes to the mainstream music of today, it continues to be repetitive and garbage, especially when it comes to rap. Today's rant is on the Coco song by some rapper named O.T. Genesis. I bet you were hoping the song was about his love for chocolate, hot cocoa, something that people can relate to. But the song Coco is about O.T. Genesis' love for cocaine. Wow, okay. Figures. The song is horrible and the music video is such a joke. The song itself is repetitive out the ass. The beat sounds like every other rap song out there. As soon as I continue listening to this overused crud, I continue getting more angry. UT Genesis constantly just rhyming a word with Coco that ends with the letter O. I'm in love with the Coco, Coco. I got it from the Lolo. If you snitching, I go loco, go crazy. It goes thinking that I'm solo. Well, whether you're solo or not, your song sucks. And you need to go. Oh. I know nothing after Popo. I'm in love just like Neo. This song so blows. You teach Genesis is a dodo. I mean, it's to the point, it's like, ah, we get it. Then he yells out, baking soda, I got baking soda. Who cares? He's not even rapping. He's just shouting out lyrics like he's shouting for help. Is this a new trend in today's generation of modern rap where rappers shout out lyrics like they're making echo noises? If so, I honestly think it is lame. I would rather listen to a song about Coco, a.k.a. Chocolate, than this. I'm sure there's a parody of this song about uh, Coco Chocolate on YouTube. Oh, actually, there is, because there's a parody of OT Genesis song Coco. And uh, the parody is about actual chocolate, you know, um, Coco Puffs and actual chocolate. And it's by um, somebody that goes by the username of It's 99%. So go on YouTube, put in it's 99% uh, Coco parody. You should see it. You'll la I'm, sure you, I'm sure you'll laugh your ass off. It's better than the actual song itself. I was laughing my ass off the entire time. Cookie Crisp. He got Cookie Crisp. <laughs> I was dying. Okay, it's way better than the song itself. Go check it out. Oh, my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you for the parodies. I'm tired of hearing the same thing you hear from today's modern mainstream rap. Constantly talking about drugs, raunchy sex, jewelry, pop, pop lock, drop and pop it dances. What happened to the funny rap songs like the ones Eminem did? I know rap has always had its share of songs about drugs and sex, but nowadays the songs about drugs are more repetitive and the songs about sex are more raunchy, disgusting, and ridiculous. The Coco song has got to be the number one worst rap song in rap history. And it's one of those rap songs people blast in their loud cars, in the streets, in the neighborhood that everyone doesn't want to hear. What also pisses me off is when I wait for a bus to go home after a day at school, I sometimes hear them playing loud music on their cell phones, iPods, etc. It is always some watered down, mediocre rap songs never underground or any classic rap songs that's actually music to the ears i mean seriously and this guy is obviously signed to um from what i heard he's been signed to buster rhymes's record label so buster rhymes is pretty much the guy that signed him to his record label no buster why well, this has been my rant on Coco by UT Genesis. Tell me your thoughts on the song itself. And like I said, go check out that um, the parody of the song by It's 99%. I'm sure you guys will laugh your butts off and it's better than the original. I mean, the song itself ain't got nothing on Buddha Lovers by Bone Thugs and Harmony. You can keep hitting that ray for Santa Miss Straight to Heaven. Keep it in that ray for sending me straight to heaven. Keep it in that ray for sending me straight to heaven. Keep it in that ray for sending me straight to heaven. Buddha love us. 
Gotta learn to smoke the Buddha. That's the way you do it. Get them Bone Thugs and Harmony. All right, that's it. Later.